Business Source Complete is a great resource for business and business-related industries and topics. It contains business and management-focused news, magazines, and journal articles. You can also find company and industry profiles. There are two sources for company data. The first is a brief profile. That's found in the top blue menu where it says Company Information. I'll search for CVS Pharmacy. I'm going to pick the first one listed here because its name is the most direct. The other options focus on particular states or services. This page gives me some basic information about the company. To the right, I have the parent company, which is the company that owns CVS Pharmacy. Down below are financial, executives, and industry details. Another company information spot is the company profiles of Business Source Complete. This is harder to find. Scrolling up to the top in the blue menu, click on More and then Company Profiles. This allows you to search for a more robust profile of a company. I'm going to search for CVS again. In the list of results, I don't see CVS Pharmacy, but I do see its parent company, CVS Health Corporation. This is how knowing the parent or holding companies can be useful in research. I'm going to open it. If I expand this arrow over here, I can see the PDF file here, the market line report. This report is quite robust. It's 45 pages. The table of contents lets me know what I can expect to find within. If I do a control F search in the document for the word pharmacy, it can help me quickly narrow in on the details about its pharmacy services. If I want to use this report, the tool gives me some options in the menu on the right side of the screen. I can print a copy or email one to myself. If I need assistance citing it for a paper, I can use the cite button here to find a citation according to the style guide I'm using. If you click on cite, it pops up with this box with the citation cited in a fair number of ways. One important thing to note is linking for these reports. Do not use the link in the browser bar here, as that is temporary. If you want to save a link to the document, you need to use the permalink, which is found down here in the right corner. The icon looks like a, a piece of chain. If you click on that, it will pop up this permalink option here at the top, and you can copy and save that URL. It's a stable URL and it will work later. You can also search for articles within Business Source. For example, if I'm interested in the pharmacy industry, I would search it in the following way. I would type pharmacy into the first box and industry into the second box and hit search. That helps the tool understand that I'm interested in results that discuss both of these concepts, but that they are separate ideas. On the left side of the screen, I can filter my results in many ways. I can limit to peer-reviewed or scholarly content. I can limit to publication date. If I scroll down here to source types, I have several different options. I can choose a trade publication. A trade publication refers to a magazine or newspaper that's written for people who work in a certain field or industry, like a pharmacy or a bank. Market research reports are going to give you insight into whomever purchases a certain service and what they might want from that industry. You can also see I have the options of industry profiles, which will give me a big picture understanding of the industry I'm examining.
By limiting to trade publication, I now have 22,000 results that I can explore. On the results page, I'll get some brief information about the article and then some subjects. If I want to see the article, I need to click on the full text. And now I have the article itself.